Hello and welcome everyone to the Geek Tech Show and in today's video I'll be showing you tips and tricks and all kinds of cool features for the iWatch 4, otherwise known as the Watch 4 or the Apple Watch 4, the number was in 4. Now, this specific watch has a lot of cool features in here that you can access easy, fast and simple. One thing you have to do if you want to customize this, you can easily do it with your palm of your hand or even the finger. So let's press on this and just hold it. Just pressing on it and holding it, you have to make sure you hold it just the right way and you will see the menu go ahead and change. So putting some pressure on it and not moving it up and down will actually do it. So let's go ahead and do that. Press on it down. That's the correct way to do it. Now the customize menu is showing right here, but we don't want this. We're going to swipe it on the side where it says customize. And here what we can do is just going one more swipe to the side, press on plus where it says new, and we can change the infographics between all kinds of cool options that are available, such as this one right here. If you don't like those infographics, we want to change it to something else. Do the same thing, just press on it and hold it down. Press on customize once again and change it to the scene that you actually want. Interesting enough, you can also change and customize all the different features on it as well. And you can just press on the feature itself and move it to the one that you actually want for you to be shown on the screen. So that is kind of cool. Now, I don't like the astronomy one, and we can go back to the infographics because that's the one I want it to actually show. So let's press on it all the way down. You have the timer here. Make sure you press on it right once and press and click on it down. That's the way you get through the menu very fast. Press on customize. This one gives us different options here, different kind of calls that we can set this to. Once you find the one that you like the most, just go ahead and press on the side. Then go once again to this and we can change every one of those features too. Pressing it down, press on customize and we can do that for this one. We can do it to the infographics as well. Each one of those has different kind of functions that you can customize too. That's the cool thing about the Apple Watch. There is a lot of things that you can customize, make it look interesting, and to make it look exactly how you want it. You can also change the screen themselves, and there is a lot of different choices for us to pick from. If you don't like those calls, you can go ahead and go to the Apple Store and pick a different one that you can actually use. So that's a cool one too. No, I don't like this one either. So let's go. This one is actually for relaxation that specific one. But if you don't like it, just press on it, hold it down, press on customize, and we can either customize the way this one works, or we can change it to something else. So that's what I'm going to be doing, just changing it to the infographic that I like the most, which is this one. Now next thing, if you want Siri to contact you, all you have to do is just press on this on the side. Interesting question. And Siri is on. So Siri, 5 plus 5, how much is it? I gotta press on it again. 5 plus 5, Siri. The answer is 10. Good job, Siri. Now, let's ask Siri another question. I'm not sure I understand. So Siri is not the smartest thing that you can communicate with. But if you wanted to check out all those different features on the iWatch, all you have to do is just to press on the feature itself and you can check out any ones of those screens over here for you. Now we're going to go into details how to set up this iWatch by going through the actual phone and synchronizing and using the phone itself to change all the features in here a lot faster and going into a lot more technical stuff. So let's go ahead and do so. Now, there was a few functions and interesting things about and I got this in the band 
and this is actually the black band and that's how it actually looks like just in case you want to see how it's supposed to look like it's not really black it looks kind of brownish so it was a little bit disappointed here because of that next thing is the password menu so it's constantly keep on asking me with the password and I have to turn this on and what happens is that after you put the password in every time this goes blank and black you have to put the password in over and over and over again so this is super annoying one of the most annoying functions with this now when you swipe it all the way from the bottom you get those interesting things in here so you can see the following airplane mode Wi-Fi connection percent of battery shaking right here which is vibration flashlight mode night mode comedy mode ah, that's comedy mode it's actually the theater mode that's really funny there is the alarm clock there is the water function so you can actually get the water out of here in case you get too much water inside here and when you spin it it gets it out I have no idea what this is Apple Play for the iWatch okay so that explains that one now that's when you swipe it from the bottom that's what you get on the other hand when you swipe it from the top you get all kinds of menus including all kinds of interesting news articles that are coming in so anything new and featured is going to be shown right in the menu and you can just swipe it away if you don't like it you can swipe it to the side you can actually swipe it on it and press on it and you can clear all of them which I just did so there was no more notification for me now on the side there is four different shortcuts that you can do in fact everything here can be edited on your phone so on the phone you have to go to the watch setting by pressing on the watch and now on the phone itself you can edit everything in here and it gives you the opportunity to do that so it says which kind of watch I actually have in here and you can tell and you watch in here as well and here are the faces so you press on the face itself and you can go ahead and fix how it actually looks like so on the side of it it shows the top left this is the off and we can change how it's going to look like on the watch so the solar system is going to be on this side with this version and if you want to use the infograph instead we can change that as well so let's go ahead and change it we can go ahead and change it to different tunes and colors to it it's going to look very nice we just have to find the one we like the most so lots of different colors for us to choose from just pick the one you like the most and just post it in here next is the complications so the top left one right now is UV index if I don't like it I want to have walkie talkie I can put it in here weather which gives me the degrees weather conditions oh I like that one so let's keep that one over there move away from the left go to the right one which is the weather as well and now we have the subdial menu so this one is the off right here which is the subdial and we can change it to something else so let's go ahead and change it to what we want oh the moon setting music solar system UV index I like the UV index let's keep that one over here go back in here and the bottom dial so the same thing we have different choices here and we can choose the one we want so the timer looks like the best one for this one go back to complications bottom right this one is the activity monitor I like the activity monitor but I don't like the timer so I can change it off too so activity for this one and now bottom left which is the timer I want the heart rate monitor for that one so let's see if we have this one as a choice heart rate monitor and I go over here 
so the infograft was actually done but there is different kind of things that we can do here so like this one for example looks like that which is kind of cool but if I don't like it I can change it to different kind of versions too we can go to the free gallery and we can choose different faces in the iOS so there was a few different choices for us to pick from here as well we can go to the app store pressing on the app store menu and we can search in here for different apps for our watch so that's very really cool as well so make sure you do it over here because it's easier for you to do this so this pretty much sets a lot of basic things for your watch and it is much easier for you to go ahead and fix things in here than going ahead and fixing things on the watch itself here is the password right there and this one is set to lock so unlock it to continue so we have to unlock it here to unlock it somewhere else okay so unlock with the iPhone you can turn it just off because it is just so annoying so enter the passcode on the Apple watch to unlock it so you do need two devices to actually go ahead and do this but this was such an annoying feature that I wanted to get rid of it wrist detection so let's turn this off because otherwise it was always turning on and off so that fixes that annoying super issue with the iWatch now there was a few more settings in here that we can do and we can go through every single one of those menus and check out every single one of those features and add additional settings to them that is included in the apps so make sure you go ahead and go through it and check out what kind of cool features exist here here's the walkie talkie function so you can talk to people who are also using, otherwise using the iWatch too so that pretty much goes through the watch section inside the watch app now since we turned all the annoying features off here now we have everything else included such as the temperature here we can look at the temperature look at every single day and check out the weather you can also check out the weather in international kind of places as well so if you are a frequent flyer you can check out a lot of different places here too so that's pretty cool now we check the weather out this is the actual condition and it gives us the whole entire day here the air quality which is good UV index how much light is outside and how windy it is outside as well and it's pretty accurate and the temperature here is pretty much freezing that said this is how the Apple watch actually looks like from every kind of direction the version 4 is just beautiful to look at and use with lots of very nice features it's supposed to have an EKG monitor here as well this particular one doesn't actually have the EKG monitor because it hasn't been approved yet to be used in the United States but it should be a feature that should be approved very soon there's also timer here as well and this one gives us how much activity you do during the whole entire day with red being the most gruesome activity and blue being couch potato where you're not actually doing anything and you can track and see how much percent of exercise you actually did during the day since I wasn't wearing this at all today it's not really accurate for that amount none of the duplications are on and when you go away from this and you go to this menu it gives you every single app you have on the phone by pressing on it you'll be able to rearrange them so here's the grid view there's also another view to this let's go and keep pressing on it there's the list view and you can just go and view it by list I don't like the list view, I like the grid view where you can go ahead and just browse through every single app you have over here 
and just choose the one you want including this one right here which is all the settings on the phone itself a few other cool features in here include when you go this way and if you're a swimmer press on this button which is the swim and now what you want to do is turn digital crown this one right here to unlock and reject water all you have to do is just press on it like that it unlocks it and it actually rejects water out of here right from this hole right there all by itself pretty much the iPhone 4 has a lot of very interesting and useful features and it kind of beats the previous iPhone that was made by having extra gadget it is faster the screen is a little bit bigger it is much faster and the screen is actually much less scratch proof than the previous version that we had before on the other hand it probably does have its own bugs and its own brand new settings so it's up to you to decide if this is the phone that is right for you interestingly enough the screen i had before totally disappeared i don't know how to get it back in so that is a bummer because the previous screen was kind of cool so now i think what i have to do is to go back in here go back to the watch and try to set the gallery right back where it's supposed to be that's the one i actually want right here press on add and this is added to apple watch i have no idea what happened to it before it just kind of disappeared so if anything gets reset over here you go back right here and you can go and fix everything in the apple watch app which is very vital now if you're buying the apple watch i don't suggest for you to buy the apple watch without having a smartphone made by apple because without a smartphone it's much harder to get this done it's not impossible but it is much harder for you to look at all the details this is much smaller screen too look at the space here that we have here for all the features this is a small space that you have to look at this is much bigger so it's much easier for you to arrange this on the actual phone than to arrange it on the watch now with that said there's a lot of cool features that you can use this for and including telling the time telling your heart rate telling how much activity you have telling the weather getting text notifications of important matters and of course if you're working and you can't use a phone nobody really knows that you're wearing a watch and nobody is going to tell you you can't wear a watch to work so with that said this is great for people who are busy professionals working they need to know what is going on in the news but they don't have the time or they are not really allowed to access your phone so not only that you will hear and you know when somebody is actually calling you and if you have the paid version of this phone you actually can go ahead and talk to people with this or you can use the wi-fi setting which i have this and i bought the wi-fi version so if somebody calls me i can answer my phone calls right on the iwatch how cool is that so definitely this is a sophisticated and very beautiful machine i think over time it's going to improve and it's going to become even better than it is right now in the future i think you will be able to do a lot of more cool things with this watch thing this is just the number four version i'm sure by the time it gets to 10th version it's going to have a camera it's going to have a recording device it's going to be maybe impossible to scratch this thing it's going to be a lot of cool features on this watch itself so every single year it comes out with better software better looks and above all better features as well so what i think of this i'm giving this a nine star out of ten just because it is so much better than the previous version can they do a better version of course they can but the technology is not up there yet and it is very hard to put everything in such a slim device now i do hope that next version will have a camera where you can at least make selfies with this that would be kind of cool as well and maybe even video camera added to this would be the ultimate thing that they will add other than that it is pretty cool watch i hope they have a round version in the future as well 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did like the Geek Tech Show, please subscribe to this channel.